Remember me, Ray? Do I look familiar? Yes. I'm Dale. The old Dale pastor. from uh, the point course. The detachment. The detachment, yeah. But this is something different for me right now. Okay. There's somebody else that wanted to tell a story about uh, mom. We can give them a the video. Oh yeah, that's not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? I respectfully apologize for not being here at the beginning for the presentation and dedication of your mother's ritual from the Marine Corps League. As time has gone by, I've gotten older myself. I remember it was approximately 20 plus years ago, I met Marine Gail Robinson and her husband Russ at a dinner party that was held by Marine Calvin Moore, who's an original Mumford Pointer. The fact of the matter is, what's so poignant is that as African Americans, we've been pressed with the issue of being equal with society. That's why we're so dedicated to have a partnership with the Marine Corps League in Dearborn. The fact is, maybe many of you know, Marine Russ and Marine Gale broke away from the Dearborn detachment to help those Muffer Pointers get, and I'm going to correctly say this, it's not the Muffer Point Association. It's the Marine Corps League. It's predominantly white. The fact is, this Marine laying in state, along with her husband, who served in the Forgotten War, Korea, he lost a toe or two. I know one for sure, because he told me shaking his hand. At the time, I was 34 years old, maybe. The fact is, they helped these Mumford Pointers get their own home on Schaefer Road and Joy Road. Now, I was Persian Gulf, the Gulf War. The VFW was my sponsor for me being service connected. I met Calvin Shepard, a month appointed at the VFW, because he supported 1276, which was World War II and to the Korean War as well. My dad is World War II. My grandfather is World War I. My dad went up Omaha Beach. That's a whole other story. The fact is that they separated to help these black men make a point in life to say they served this country as well. Calvin Moore said, Dale, I will sponsor you. You know his son, Kenneth Moore, or you will come to know him maybe. But I know this is a close family. How you doing, Dad? Hi. The fact is, is that he didn't realize that I went away after college to join the Marines. That's where he sponsored me, and I met your parents. Gail, to the very last day, I'm sure, and I'm upset with myself because the fact is I did not see her sooner. If you didn't know, your mother would call me. It must have been a landline. I don't know. She wrote me letters. I was the commandant. We bounced back and forth, myself to Sergeant Major Owens being the commandant. I'm a baby in comparison. With the VFWs the same way. Southfield. I was the second black to hold that 
as a commander with the VFW. I went to state. It overwhelmed me. But I was having little baby. I had little babies. Yeah. And God knows she always asks, how they're doing? Nobody else. Today, those kids are grown, all out of state. I got into a deep hole. I have severe PSD, PTSD rather. I don't share that with everybody. They come and go. I'm just a kid growing up in the, in the detachment. Yeah, they expect so goddamn much. Excuse my French. I got to go to Ohio coming up in a couple of weeks. Behavioral study? They want to use me for a study? Something you just don't show with everybody. With the Vietnam vets and the mother of my dad, I know so many, and I presided over so many funerals. The little guy is tired as well. But this Marine, how's your divorce, Dale? I pray for you. I didn't get a lot of that. us with our computers and technology. God rest his soul. Okay? Through my divorce, I busted my butt at that detachment as well. There's only a few. It's Mac and so forth. To get it to where it is, and then I hope somebody else comes after me and continue it. I did my part too. But this lady and her husband, these two hard-charging Marines right here, can nobody tell me nothing? I made sure she sat in the middle of every, all, each one of them. Every picture session. I'm all on the side. I didn't ask for no awards or nothing. I'm not glorifying anything. But these two right here. I want you to know my daughter Lauren, who she knew so well. She's 25 today. Today, May 10th. She graduated from the University of Kentucky. She's a manager at Marriott Vacations down in Kissimmee. Her twin brothers, one is a United States Marine active duty. He's a sergeant. Shy of his first enlistment by eight months, already a sergeant. He's what they call badass. He's a combat engineer. He likes blowing stuff up. He did TBS, that's for officers training for infantry school. Now he's at OCS, training the officers. And he's six foot tall, believe it or not. And his other twin, a little bit shorter than me, he's a chef, Vail, Colorado, as well as Denver. And he's also still full time with Home Depot, which helped him get through school, culinary arts school. I'll be there Tuesday. Because, see, I want to see that marker again with Russ's name on it. And it has Mumford Point on that stone. Anybody know that? Yes, sir. Mumford Point is on his marker. He helped the black community. It's about camaraderie. It's free decor. It's our ethos. I want to be badass, too. That was my problem with PTSD. I'm sick. It ain't about the money, 100%. It's about people like this young lady right here and her husband that came through it. Yeah, you know, the Marines, you know, backed up a little bit. I'm going to say backed up because we usually don't retreat. A lot of them died. Shit, they don't die. They just go to hell and regroup. I'm going to end on this. I was like one of you guys because she treated me that way. And I watched the video, all 25 minutes. I'm proud to be in that video, too. In the last stanza of the Marine Corps hymn, it says, if the Army or the Navy look on heaven's scenes, it's guided by and 
guarded by United States Marines. Take your post. Thank you. Thank you.